Okay, let's take a quick look at what's actually happening here. Uh, I'm going to go to Desmos and show you that we've got this baseball diamond that's 90 feet, 90 foot square on a side. And uh, from home plate, this runner is running towards first base at a speed of 25 miles uh, per, per second. And as he moves this way, the distance from the runner to second base is changing. Notice that when he hasn't left home plate yet, the distance is given by this formula using the Pythagorean theorem. And that's the same as 90 radical 2 because that's a 45-45 right triangle. By the time he makes it all the way to first base, the distance is 90 feet. Uh, we're supposed to find how fast the distance between the runner and second base is changing at the time when x is 45. Okay, And there is the, what the, the distance actually is, 100.623. So let's go back to uh, Wyzant and see if we can figure out how to find the derivative of D, capital D, with respect to T. This information right here, same as tell D, D, T, is 25 feet per second. Uh, where again, I let this distance, the distance the runner is actually run, be X. So this distance is 90 minus X. And this, of course, remains a constant 90. So let's go to board two, and I'll show you two different ways to do it. We can write that big D squared is equal to 90 minus X the quantity squared plus 90 squared. Again, that's using the Pythagorean theorem. And I can take the derivative with respect to T right at this point. So using the power rule followed by the chain rule, I get 2 capital D, the derivative D with respect to T. Power rule followed by the chain rule. Uh, bring the exponent down front, reduce the exponent by 1, multiply by the derivative of the inside. That's uh, the chain rule. So I've got a minus 1 here and then dx dt because we're assuming x is a function of t. And I can see there's a factor of 2 on both sides that I can cancel out. And if I divide both sides by d, there's a formula for the derivative of the distance with respect to t. That includes big D. Now, if I want to, I can rewrite it this way. I can actually solve for D and use the power rule. If I bring this one-half exponent down front, uh, reduce the exponent by 1, and then multiply by the derivative of the inside, bring the 2 down front, reduce the exponent by 1, multiply by the derivative of the inside, the 2's cancel. And then I bring this square root to the denominator. And guess what? This is just what D is. So these formulas are actually the same. Uh, it's just that over here I have to calculate D. Here I put 45 in for X, and I will have calculated D. So on board 3, we want to find the derivative of big D with respect to T. When X is 45, that's a uh, specific point in time and when given that dx dt is 25 feet per second so we'll get the opposite of 90 minus x is 45 times dx dt is 25 divided by big d which is this number right here i think it's 100 point something and i did the calculation on desmos that should be your answer another the uh, rate at which the distance from the runner to second base is changing is at negative 11.2 feet per second. Okay, that's the answer to part A. I'll let you work on part B. The idea is that we're going to have this distance right here. This will still be 90, but you follow the same exact pattern. It'll just be that the, I'll call this T the distance to third x squared plus 90 squared equals t squared. And then you follow the same pattern.
there you go. Hope that helped. If you have a question, post a comment.